Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class. Our textbook is We Can Too, and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit uh, 3 My Day Animals, Places, and the lesson is Phonics on page 24. This lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazen Al Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. So in our last uh, lesson, we did learn how we describe people by their appearances. So here we have the first one, which is already answered on your book on page 23. Here we say that this person has a short brown hair and brown eyes. Not only this, or we're not describing only his uh, hair. We're also saying that he is wearing, we're describing clothes as well that he is wearing a thobe and speaking with his friend. Now let's try to uh, do the exercise one more time and just to remind ourselves on, of how we answered the, this uh, exercise. So as you can see here, here you can uh, see uh, that description is not in the right order and all you have to do is to add the subject like he or she and also to look for the person that is or have the same appearances. So have a look at the different pictures or the different people you have on your book and tell me who is the person who has long and brown hair and also brown eyes and is wearing a red jacket and sitting. So from the four people you have on the book, can you see a person with the same description or the same appearances? So if you do, then what you have to do here is to write number two, number two under, uh, uh, under this uh, person in the empty square. And then let's me and you try to rewrite the sentence. So last time we did rewrite it and we come up with a sentence like this, that she has long brown hair and brown eyes. Not only this, she is wearing a red jacket and she is sitting. So here we describe this uh, woman or this girl uh, in three things. First, we describe her hair. We said that she has long brown hair and brown eyes. Also, we describe what is she wearing. We said that she is wearing a red jacket. Also, we also describe, we talk whether she is standing or she is sitting. So you can use these when you are trying to describe someone uh, around you, to use these adjectives uh, and these uh, uh, words. And also uh, the other person which is in uh, number three, here we have different words, different descriptions that are not in the right order. So let's read it and try to look for a person that have the same appearances. So the person we're looking for has a black hair, brown eyes, green jacket, white t-shirt, a blue skirt, and pink shoes. So look at the two remaining pictures or two remaining people. Can you find someone who has a black hair, green jacket, white t-shirt, blue skirt, and pink shoes? Can you find someone with the same appearances? If you do, then write number three under this person, right, number three, under this uh, person. And let's, me and you, try to rewrite this sentence. We can uh, rewrite it, and the sentence will be like, that she has long black hair and brown eyes. She is also, she is wearing a white t-shirt blue skirt and pink shoes. So here we describe uh, this girl's uh, hair and also we describe what is she wearing. And uh, now let us move on to the last one. 
The last one is here we're talking about a person who has short blonde hair, blue eyes, and a blue t-shirt. Can you find someone with the same descriptions or the same appearances? If you do, then you have to write number four under this person and write the following sentence that he has short blonde hair and blue eyes. Also, he is wearing a blue t-shirt. So this is how we answered the, the, or how we talked about appearances using the word has. When we talk about different people, we're talking about a man or a woman, we say he has and she has. And we can describe hair, for example, long or short hair. We can describe height. We can say he is tall or short. We can describe the clothes they are wearing. He is wearing or she is wearing and so on. And also we can use have when you talk about yourself or you talk about the person in front of you. When you talk about yourself, you can say, I have black hair. Or you, when you talk uh, to people in front of you or your partner, you can say, you have a black hair. So this is the difference of using between using has and have. And after this, we said to make it more interesting, you can uh, try to play the game, which is guess who? where you can describe someone to your classmates about in, in your classroom, or you describe someone, uh, about, or one of your family members uh, with your family. And the partners or the people around you will have to guess who that person is. For example, here we have three girls. One of them started the game and she started to uh, ex uh, describe the person she is or she has in mind. So she said that this girl, she has long brown hair and brown eyes. And she is tall, she is standing near the door, what's her name? So she is talking about uh, the appearances of this girl. Then these two girls has to or have to guess and they did, they guessed that, they say, it is uh, Rana. And remember, you can do the same, you can uh, practice this in pairs. So now let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. At the end of our lesson, we hope that you will be able to make the sounds for double E and EA. Also to use the irregular plurals and that or those. And to do this, I would like you please to open your books on page 24. Now on page 24 here, what you need to do, we're going to listen, we're going to point and say these words, and then we're going to fill in the blanks, whether with E, E, or E, A. So here we have three different sounds. We have the sound with the two letters E and E, and also we have the sound of the long sound of EA and also the short sound of EA as well. So let's listen to them now. Let's uh, practice them and then we will know the differences between these different sounds. So the first sound that starts with EE -E is sleep. Sleep. Say after me. Sleep. Now the second sound with EA, and this one we call it the long sound. The long sound of EA, which is read, read, say after me, read. And this one is the short sound of EA. So listen and practice. Head, head, say after me, head. So here we have read. Head, read, head, very well. So here we have, yes, they are the same letters, but 
they uh, have uh, different sounds. With the first one here, we uh, pronounce or we produce a longer sound. We said read. But with the second one, we produce a shorter one. We said head. Now let's try to fill in the blanks with these uh, words. So with the first sound, with EE, -E, we have the word uh, sleep. So what do you think? What is the second word is? The second word is sheep. Sheep. So here we have sleep, sheep, sleep, sheep. They have the same sound. Now what about the next one? Here we have read and meet. Read, meet also have the same sound. Read, meet. And the last one, EA, that has a shorter version or shorter sound. The first one we have head and the second one is bread. Head, bread, head, bread. So these are three different sounds that we need to pay attention to when we are practicing and producing these uh, words. And after this, we have a, in our second exercise, we're going to listen, point and say. And we need to point just to know the differences between that and those. So here you can see a group of family gathered together and having the following conversation. Look at this picture. There is a man a woman and a child. It's a small family. And what can we see in this picture? We can see in this picture that there are three men, three women, and five children. So here we learned the differences between there is and there are. We said that when we use there is we're talking about a, a one a single person. There is a man. There is a woman. But when we are using there are, here we're talking about not only one man, here we're talking about three men and three women and five children. So with there is, we're talking about one person, and with there are, we're talking about uh, more. So, after this, we have the, the, we're going to practice the question, what is, the, uh, what is that? Usually, when we use what is that, we're talking about only one single thing, which is, it's a tooth. And when we are or asking a question, what are those? Here, we're not asking about one thing, we're asking about more than one thing. So here. We're asking about only one tooth. This is why we said, what is, the, what is that? And here, when we're asking about uh, more than one thing, we, ask, uh, we say the question, what are those? They are teeth. They are teeth. So for one thing, we say, what's that? And for more than one thing, we said, what are those? And we can practice this with this uh, picture. So you can have a look at uh, the first picture and tell me, what is that? What is that? Well, it's uh, a foot. It's a foot. And what are those? What are those? They are feet. They are feet. So here, because I'm asking about one thing, I said, What's that? And here I'm asking about more than one thing. I said, what are those? The same goes here. When I ask, what's that? It's a mouse. And what are those? They are mice. So this is how we use or how we differentiate between what's that and what are those. So at the end, it is important that we can make the sounds of EE -E and EA and also to uh, practice that or those. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.